High performance computing, it is the key tool for the innovation of the science and the industries. So everything starts from the applications. There was some lot of different kinds of the applications in the high performance computing. So that's a famous pyramid uh, going from the uh, low end to the top end, like exascale computing. And what we are uh, providing to you is a scalable platform to expand the scalability from the low end to the top end. So which could cover the all of the application different criteria. This is uh, the Fujitsu CX400. This is the hardware pieces, uh, which Fujitsu has designed and uh, developed to realize the ultra scalability. Uh, Fujitsu has got a lot of different variations of the x86 uh, server Intel inside. But uh, this is the latest uh, product which Fujitsu is offering to you, named the CX400, uh, which is uh, specifically designed for the cloud computing and also the HPC. And uh, uh, it is very interesting that the uh, uh, requirement for the cloud computing and the high performance computing is very much overlapping here. So C in the cloud extension, cloud uh, CX400. And the value proposition uh, CX400 is a scale out smart for the HPC and cloud computing. You can see like a uh, home juice is put into the uh, two servers. And this is quite powerful HPC engines. But it is just the one hardware brick. Then recently we have obtained uh, the contract uh, of the Australian National University, which is already 1.2 petaflops. Uh, you can see the uh, quite high level scalability uh, with this uh, CX400 servers. But this is just uh, one of the story. And uh, uh, Fujitsu is now looking at this uh, low end to the mid range. So we are trying to increase the HPC populations. So Fujitsu uh, recently started a global high performance computing business. So we really need to very rapidly uh, are getting the uh, footprint in the market. So one of the very important activities uh, which we are doing is to increase the HPC populations, means to expand our footprint uh, in the HPC space, especially around this range. And we are looking at the CAE, uh, also like a, a pharma bio life science space here. This is HPC simplicity. So what we are doing is to make HPC to be very simple with uh, inbuilt expertise. So it is now a uh, one step upper layer of the hardware because uh, the, uh, we are trying to uh, broaden the HPC access uh, from uh, a very large number of the users who is not very much uh, familiar for the high performance computing but to forget the complexity of the ITs, complexity to manage the uh, clusters, but to realize the very easy access and simplified access to the uh, high performance computing applications. We are comparing this with a simpler portal HPC and uh, uh, traditional script-based high performance computing. And when you see, the uh, overall uh, efficient of the uh, customer productions based on the simpler portal high performance computing is significantly contribute to the return on the investment of the customers. So now, at the end, we would like to break through uh, for the high end to the exascale computing. And this is uh, for the applications, especially like a climate change research, environmental studies, and advanced material research. And as I presented, uh, CX400 has already uh, produced around 1.2 petaflops in the performance. But when you go to the much more higher level performance, especially to go to other extra, there are a lot of different challenges which we need to solve. 
example, in the typical programs which we need to tackle is the application performance in the data locality and also the efficiency issues. And uh, uh, all of these uh, elements is extremely important for us to go to the exascale computing. Everybody is spending the big effort to produce uh, nice hardware and systems. But uh, if we don't look at the application very carefully, it is very difficult for you to go to the exascale. So the parallelism, fine-grained parallelism, post-grained parallelism, at the end of the day, the most important factor is the data locality in application space. Also, when the uh, computer performance go up to the exascale, huge amount of the data is produced. So therefore, in that sense, that the efficient I/O operation with the prior input output is very, becoming more important than today. At the end, in order to get the uh, enough performance of the exascale, you need to look at the tools. And still, there is a lot of different places which we need to make a big effort to go toward exascale computing. This is what uh, we are very much happy to do that right now. And in order for us to solve all of these challenges, uh, very recently, uh, first of April, we set up the uh, organization named uh, Global High Performance Computing Office here in Munich. It means that uh, all of the strategies of the global HPC is now driven here in Germany, in Munich. So we moved such operations uh, from Tokyo to Munich. And you can see uh, this is a Fujitsu logo mark. Uh, when you drive the autobahn from the airport of Munich airport and go into the central of Munich, you will see this building. And just behind, possibly the, behind of this J of Fujitsu, our office located. And we are driving the global high performance computing operation from this building to the worldwide. So we are doing not only the go to the market operation, but also we are enriching our HPC offering. We are very closely working uh, with the product development division in Germany, also in Japan. And also uh, we are working in a software stack of the high performance computing. So, uh, this is everything which I would like to tell you today. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.